Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another episode of Make a Game for Free. In this episode I made a script for character and player stats. Let me show you how I did that. So this is very simple actually. Uh, what I did, I made a character script which is just gonna hold all the stats that a character is gonna have. So this is not um, specially made for just the player. You, you, we can use this script on the enemies on uh, like mobs and any other character in the game actually so these are just the basic stats for a character and then what we're gonna do later we're gonna uh, make a player stat script and we're gonna make it derive from character stats so what I did in the character stat script I just made all the variables that I want uh, for stats so I made a public integer for health uh, and the one for max health then I made a public integer for mana and max mana then I made one for uh, stamina and max stamina and I create a boolean which is either true or false um, is dead which which just checks if the player is dead what I did after that is I made three public voids called check health check mana and check stamina so this is something I do I don't know if this actually helps but I make a um, function which I call every time the player for example uh, loses health if he gets attacked or he uh, takes damage I'm gonna call check health and then fu that function is gonna check if a uh, player has less than zero health then set the health to zero uh, set is dead to true and then kill him Else if health is more or equal than max health then we want to set health equal to max health What this is doing if let's say player has um, 100, uh, 100 health which is the max health and he gets healed for example for 10 Then we're not he's not gonna have 110 health. He's still gonna have 100 and I just did that for mana and stamina in the other two functions. The last two things I did is in void update I created a if statement which is saying if we press the T button on the keyboard uh, we're gonna damage the player for 10 health and then we're just gonna check for health. So this is just the test button for damaging the player. And the last thing is I made a public virtual void die. Now what that means is that I can override that function. So as I said before, this script is going to be used for every character in the game. And we don't want all the characters in the game to die the same way. For let's say an enemy, we want to maybe turn him into a ragdoll and give the player points. For the player, we want to make him disappear maybe and uh, have some kind of a main menu pop up. And then I create player stat script. So I open the script and set the script to derive from character stats. That is very important. So what this is actually doing now is it actually holds all the information that character stats has. But... I can still add some more specific to the player. This would be the same if I would copy paste the whole character stat script into player stats and just then added the additional functions. In player stats I just overrided the die method and now I'm saying when the player dies we want to get a reference for our move script and then set it disabled so the player can't move anymore this is all i did this episode so if this kind of helped you leave a like down below comment if you want to see something specific uh subscribe of course because that always helps me out follow me on twitter and um you know have a nice day go learn some coding by yourself because that's the best way and um Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.